Hey, what's going on? It's your boy back at you with another video, man. I'm sitting here chilling out, man. It's going to be real quick. I'm going to make a couple of quick videos. Yo, um, Kawhi Leonard is going to be out for a while. And um, my thing is simple, man. The man, um, maybe he might, might not be back from that knee surgery or the ACL tear. Look, man, you can cry and whine all you want to, okay? The man is hurt, Okay. Why would he go out there and play and then um, and play on a bad knee and he know he can't play? That's the answer to that question. But y'all sit around. This is the only thing we can talk about, right? This is the only goddamn thing we can talk about, right? You worry about, you know, Kawhi Leonard. That's all people on YouTube talk about. Kawhi, 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 Kawhi. Damn. Can we get off the T.I.P. of this man's dick, man? I'm just sick of hearing this shit about Kawhi Leonard, Kawhi Leonard, Kawhi Leonard, Kawhi Leonard. Damn. If he can't play, he can't play. I don't blame him for sitting out because these NBA owners, they do not care about you. They don't care. Only thing they care about is winning games. If you don't look out for yourself, who's going to look out for you? Who cares about basketball? This man's life. How, how he can walk around, play with his kids, and be with his family, and just walk on an everyday basis. Who cares about basketball? Don't rush yourself, Kawhi Leonard. You know what I'm saying? Y'all been on this dude's helmet for months. Clout chasing and dick riding. For clicks and views. It's disgusting, man. It's pure disgusting. That maybe he's not going to be, he's not going to be healthy. You know, he got hurt, what, July last year. It might take him another few more months. So what? That man, health is in, health. he has to worry about his health. But all you do is cry about is he's, he's soft. Why is he soft? How can you play if you're still, if you're not recovered yet? Some people never recover from ACL tears. Sick of hearing y'all cry and whine about these players. Kawhi Leonard is not hurt. It's not hurting for money. So busy worrying about these players, you can't even worry about your life, right? This is all you guys want to talk about. And it's nerve wracking, man. You sit around all day and worry about these millionaires. If he ever play another basketball again, basketball game again, he's not financially hurt. Why do you guys worry about these players so much, man? Just answer that question. Who cares, man? Who really cares? Sick of this all y'all talk about. Kawhi Leonard, Kawhi Leonard, Kawhi Leonard. Quit crying. He has to do what the doctors tell him to do. I don't blame him for that. I don't blame him. Sit, sit out as much as you need to, Kawhi. Block out the noise. I mean, I am so sick and tired of you guys, man. That's why I don't like coming up here. Because all you guys do is cry about these players. Why? Is it the end of the world that he's not coming back for the Clippers? Is it? I mean, answer that question. Is it the end of the world? Y'all worry about these players, man. This man got a couple of hundred mil in the bank. He's not worried about the Clippers. He's worried about his health. I'm quite sure he wants to play. But if he ain't recovered yet, he ain't recovered yet. So why do people keep talking about this, man? Why do you keep why do you keep talking about well Kawhi is hurt? He's clearly injured. This is bigger than basketball. It's about life. But all y'all care about is putting the ball in the basket. Oh, it hurt mercy. I'm so sick. I wish he would come back so everybody can quit crying, man. Crying and crying and crying. So then if he go out there and tear his knee up again. Is this man going to be able to walk? Is this man going to be able to live everyday life? Who cares about basketball? It's about this man's health. 
But all you guys care about is, is dribbling. Who cares, man? Who really cares about this stuff? I really don't. Man, y'all get on my nerves, man. That's why I don't like coming up here. I hate YouTube. This is all we want to talk about is these stupid ass players that ain't putting no money in your pocket, man. It just don't make sense. You sitting around bad mouthing millionaires. Who cares? They, he don't care, man. He's doing what the doctor's telling him to do. And I don't blame him for that. This man, like, suppose he go out there and tear his ACL up or tear his Achilles. Every day you got to live with that pain because because you work because you think about these owners. These owners don't give a fuck about you. If you don't look out for yourself. Who don't look out for yourself? You got to look out. Kawhi is looking out for himself. I don't blame him. I don't blame him for not rushing it. Don't rush it, Kawhi. So all you clowns do on YouTube is cry and cry and cry and cry. And I'm sick of it, man. Keep crying about these players, man. Y'all get on my damn nerves. Keep crying about Kawhi. Cry, cry, cry. Come on, man. Shut up. Crying about this man every damn day. It's all about the clicks. Get up every damn day. Quit crying about. I, I wish they would just stop crying about this dude. He can't. If he can't play, he can't play. Cause I knew he wasn't gonna be back to probably like July, January anyway. It's gonna take some time for that thing to recover. Some people, it take two years for them to fully recover from an ACL tear. I had a family member that tore ACL. It took them two years to get back. It takes 18, 18, 18 to what, 21 months for you to fully recover from an ACL tear. But see, if these, these clowns do their medical research. But all they care about, no, 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 that's all they care about. All they care about is the click and the view. It's just sickening, man. Why do you guys keep dogging this man? He can't be hurt. He can't be hurt. So what are you supposed to do? Go out there and, tear, and do some more damage? Then you're crying about that, right? Either way, you guys are going to cry. Man, y'all y'all get on my damn nerves, man. Y'all just get on my goddamn nerves. Crying about these goddamn players, man. So I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. It it's irritating. Every damn day, these YouTubers keep talking about Kawhi Leonard, man. Get off the nigga penis, man. Damn. Can you get off this nigga penis? This nigga ain't sweating this. He's going to do what the doctors tell him to do. But keep crying about it every damn day. Kawhi, Kawhi, Kawhi. Damn, can you shut the fuck up? We got bigger problems in the world than Kawhi Leonard. Lord, man, y'all be dick riding these players so goddamn much. This shit is irritating as fuck. Shit sad, man. Every goddamn day, these YouTubers. And I'm not talking about old boy knees. I'm talking about everybody. I'm talking about all of them. Because I'm sick of hearing the crying and the whining, man. The media. What are you supposed to do? Go out there and play and he's not hurt, not healthy? What can he do for the Clippers if he's not 100% healthy? It's sad that you care. These Y'all guys care more about basketball than you care about a person's life. So he go out there and tear his other his other knee. What are you going to do then? That man is doing what the doctors tell him to do. If you read, if you read, see, that's the problem with you guys. Because some of these guys on YouTube and some of you guys in the comment section are ignorant as fuck. Because it takes 24, it takes almost two years to fully recover from, from knee surgery. I'm quite sure he's going through therapy. It don't take overnight to just heal from an ACL tear. You're tearing a limb in your body. Some guys never be the same from that. And if he's not ever the same again, I'm, I care about the man's life. 
That's all we can do, man. That's all we can do. That's all we can do is be little people. Be little, be little, be little. Be little to people to get that YouTube check. Be little to people to get that ESPN check, that Fox One check. He's weak because he's injured. How fucking stupid is that? Suppose you tore your ACL out there. You're not going to want to go out there and play and your knee ain't 100%. He ain't ready. He ain't ready. Quit crying. Y'all get on my fucking nerves, man, about these fucking players. Y'all care more about these players than you care about your own fucking life. Is Kawhi Leonard knee? How is that affecting your life, man? I just want to ask that question. Y'all care. Y'all go overboard about this NBA shit. Because it's, ir- it's irritating as hell, man. It's all we, that's all y'all want to talk about. Y'all get on my fucking nerves with this shit. Kawhi Leonard may not return. Who gives a fuck? And I'm going to end it on this note, and I'm done. He got to care about, Kawhi Leonard got to look out for himself. Look, look, look how the Golden State Warriors did Kevin Durant. They knew he won 100%, but you think they cared about that shit? They cared about winning a championship. And guess what happened? Kevin Durant tore his ACL, tore his um, Achilles. Affected this man. This man couldn't walk for almost two years. Because I had a family member that tore an Achilles. A couple of friends that caught Achilles injuries. It took them down there two years to learn how to walk again. People talk shit about Clay Thompson. I've done it. That man tore his ACL and his Achilles. He might not ever be the same again. But it's about his life. It's about his health. It's about his well-being. But all people care about who won, who lost, who won, who lost. God damn. I'm just sick of this, these YouTube. I'm sick of this shit. All they do is dick ride Kawhi Leonard, man. For the view and for the click. They care more about him being on the court. Okay, put him out there on the court. And his, his knee ain't fully healed yet. Just go put him out there, right? It's sad that people care more about winning than they do about a person's health. Person Health is more important. Health is wealth. Not winning a damn basketball game. It's all you all guys care about. Fuck out of here, man. Y'all get on my fucking nerves, man. Niggas broke as fuck, but you worrying about a millionaire. How, how is that affecting you? How is the master question? Why do you worry about these players so much? You care more about these players. Do you care about your life? You care more about these players. Do you care about your kids? You care more about your, the old lady. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Do you wonder why your old lady want to keep lead? Wonder why relationships break up? You know why? Because people are so these guys are so obsessed with sports that they're not even paying attention to their family. How the fuck is? I'm just saying. I'm asking that question. These guys that make these stupid ass reports, how the fuck is Kawhi Leonard knee affecting your affecting your pockets? Just ask that question, man. That's why I hate coming up here. Cause it's all we can talk about. Y'all worry about these damn players, but you're not even worried about your life. In closing, that man has to worry about his health. His health is more important than basketball. Health is more important. I care about a person's well-being. Because that's an ACS. A, a, that's a devastating injury to your body. It's a limb. I'm quite sure it hurts to walk. He ain't fully healed. So you're going to put him out on the court and he's not healed. How stupid is that, man? Because people care about them donations. People care about them them cash apps. Let's keep it real. It's all we can talk about, man. You worrying about somebody that got millions of dollars. It, it just, it just to me, it just don't make sense. It just doesn't make sense that Kawhi, Kawhi, Kawhi. I'm so sick of hearing about him. 
so sick of hearing it, man. I'm just so sick and tired of hearing them cry about Kawhi Leonard. Lord, please bless this man's knee so he can come back so they can quit crying and crying and whining. These Clipper fans crying and whining. I, I see it on Facebook. I see it on Instagram. I see him crying and whining. What this man supposed to do with a torn ACL? What is he supposed to do? What is he supposed to do? Go out there and play hurt and then he get then he hurt his knee even worse. I'm gonna end this now. If you don't look out for yourself, who's gonna look out for you? Cause these owners, they don't care about they don't care about these players. They only care about that Larry Bryan or trophy. They only care about winning. These coaches, they don't care about them because they know they got to win a certain amount of games. If they don't win a certain amount of games, they're fired. Have y'all thought about that? What this man is supposed to do? On a bum knee? What he supposed to do? Play? How, what he, how, how is he going to contribute? Y'all call him weak and all of that. Weak. I think it's weak. That all we can do is sit around and badmouth people. You don't know that man. You don't know what that man going through with that knee injury. You don't. Kawhi Leonard is a stand-up guy. Kawhi Leonard doesn't do a whole lot of talking. He don't do a lot of talking. He's a good guy. He's never had any real troubles in the NBA. He had knee problems. He's always had knee problems in his career. But he but he looked out for himself. The doctors tell you to miss games. Don't don't play them. Just like uh, uh Clay Thompson, another one. Um they crying wine in Golden State about him missing not playing back to backs. So what are he supposed to do? So then he tears something up? Then that man can't walk for, for the rest of his life? It's more than basketball. It's about life. But all y'all care about is who winning, who's losing. They winning in life. Clay Thompson got $70 million in the bank. And if he never plays another basketball game, he got a he got a basketball, he got basketball shoe endorsement. Kawhi Leonard got a got a, a, a endorsement with, with New Balance. These guys are set for life. But you sit around and worry about whether he play on the court. Who cares? How is that affecting you? See, y'all never look. See, y'all never looked at it that way, did you? So I look at the big picture. It ain't about basketball. It's about life. But you know, no, no, nobody wants to talk about that. Cause they can badmouth these players. Because the more you badmouth, the more the cash apps come. The more the subscribers come. I care less about that. I care about him walking. He got a daughter. He got a wife. He got a family. I care about his well-being. This ain't about basketball. Who cares about that shit? That shit ain't putting no bread in my pocket. But that's all y'all worry about. Y'all worry about these players. It shit, it shit is ridiculous. Kawhi, Kawhi, Kawhi. Can, play, can you please get, get off the T.I.P. of this nigga dick? Please. Shit sad, bro. This shit is sad as hell. And you just been I mean same people every damn day keep taking shots at Kawhi. And I say this again that a lot of these people on YouTube, they are mad and angry because their careers didn't work out. So they come out here and bash you can't do that. Football failed football players, failed baseball players, failed basketball players because you're lashing out. You can't keep tearing these players down to build yourself up. You're tearing down a person you don't even know. They don't know nothing about Kawhi Leonard. How is he weak? Because he had, he hurt his knee? Y'all have no compassion for nobody, do you? It's all about winning, winning, winning. I'm talking about winning off the court. He's winning off the court. What about you? Every day begging for donations. Come on, man. These guys every day beg for donations. But you, but you, but you clowning Kawhi Leonard. 
Kawhi Leonard don't you don't see him with no YouTube channel. These these guys with athletes gifted, gifted athletes that didn't take advantage, that didn't that didn't um that didn't prepare themselves, that didn't work hard. You didn't work hard. His life is about hard work. These guys every day cry about these players. They mad at the world. You had the same chance they had, but you didn't want to put in. They didn't want to put in the work. So every day they want to just come up here and cry, cry about Kawhi Leonard. And I ain't talking about no one person in general. So don't go there. I'm talking about all these people on YouTube. This is what I see. They know damn well you can't play on. I'm a I'm a basketball player myself. How this man is supposed to play on a torn ACL? You tell me that. He tore that thing in July. It might take him, I say to about maybe February, for him to be fully healed. It might take him almost two years to get that to get to get that thing fully healed and be ready to go. Or he might not be ever the same again. Do your research before you start crying. Since this is the only thing we can talk about, right? Y'all get on my damn nerves about these players. Because these players don't give a fuck about you. But y'all constantly worry about these fucking players, man. Shit is annoying, man. Every damn day I turn on my smartphone and look at YouTube. I swear to God, I think I'm just about to, un- I'm just about to uninstall YouTube on my phone. Because it's just uh, irritating. Every damn day they keep crying about Kawhi Leonard. He is doing, and I'm going to end this and I'm done with this, seriously. He's got to do what those doctors tell him to do. Them doctors know what's best for him. Not listening to these fans, not listening to these money-hungry vloggers just looking for a check. You bashing another man because because their career didn't work out. So every day they want to come up here and cry every day begging for money? I'm sick of it, man. Y'all don't get sick of the same movie. Same thing every day. Bad mouth players, bad mouth players, bad mouth players. I'm sick of it. Sick of it, man. People are human. But that's it. That's all deuces.